So welcome to my video on the six basic trig functions. In this example, I'm going to find the value for the six basic trig functions for this angle A. And many people have trouble memorizing the equations for the basic trig functions. And one way that's easy to memorize the equations is using the phrase so ka toa. I know it sounds really weird, but it helps out a lot. The phrase is so ka toa. And if you look at the equation for the sine, you see that the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. And you can use the word so to help you remember this equation because the s stands for the sine, the o stands for the opposite, and the h stands for the hypotenuse. And you can do the same thing for the cosine equation. The cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. You can use the word ka to help you remember that. The c stands for the cosine. The A stands for the adjacent, and the H stands for the hypotenuse. And I think you can see the pattern by now. You can do the same thing for the word toa. The T stands for tangent. The O stands for the opposite, and the A stands for the adjacent. So tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So let's get started right away with this example. We want to find the values of the basic trig functions for this angle A. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to label all the sides of the triangle. And the first side that I always like to label is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side. And the easiest way to find the hypotenuse is to go to the 90 degree angle. And if you draw an arrow to the opposite side of the 90 degree angle, that side is always going to be your hypotenuse. So now I'm going to label the hypotenuse with an HYP. So our side with a length of 5 is the hypotenuse. So now I'm going to label the opposite side. The opposite side is always opposite of the angle that we're trying to find. So since we're trying to find the trig functions for angle A, I'm going to go to angle A, and I'm going to draw an arrow to the opposite side. So our side with a length of 3 is going to be the opposite of angle A. So now I'm going to label side 3 with an OPP, just to show that it's the opposite side. And lastly, we need to label the adjacent side. And the adjacent side is always touching the angle, but not the hypotenuse. So notice this side that I'm calling over in red is touching our angle A, but it's not the hypotenuse. So that's our adjacent side. The side with a length of 4 is going to be our adjacent side. And I'm going to label the side with an ADJ, just to show that it's the adjacent side. And after we label all the sides of the triangle, it's really easy to find the values for all the trig functions for our angle A. So that's what I'm going to do right now. First, I'm going to start off with the sine of A. And if we go back to our equation, the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So since our opposite is equal to 3, and our hypotenuse is equal to 5, the sine of A is equal to 3 over 5. So now I'll do the cosine of A. If we go back to our equation, the cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Since the adjacent has a length of 4 and the hypotenuse has a length of 5, the cosine of A is equal to 4 over 5. So now I'll do the tangent of A. If we go back to our equation, the tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Since our opposite side has a length of 3 and our adjacent side has a length of 4, the tangent of A is equal to 3 over 4. And once you have these three basic trig functions, it's really easy to find the last three basic trig functions. Um, so now I'll do the cosecant of A. And the only thing you need to do to find the cosecant of A is flip the sine of A. Since the sine of A is 3 over 5, the cosecant of A is 5 over 3. And now I'm going to find the secant of A. And the only thing you need to do to find the secant is flip the cosine. Since the cosine of A is 4 over 5, the secant of A is 5 over 4. And finally, we need to find the cotangent of A. In order to find the cotangent, you just need to flip the tangent. So since the tangent of A is 3 over 4, the cotangent of A is 4 over 3.